This is the Glintendo circuit, and it is open to everyone. So go ahead and check out the screen. Uh, there is a tournament code you can use. Um, just open up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on your Switch. Go to online tournaments, and then search tournament by code and put in that code, and you're in. That's pretty much all you got to do. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking to play, it's a good way to get games. And there's a lot of really good players here. So uh, we've been averaging probably about 30 attendants, uh, or uh, 30 entrants, rather. And uh, honestly, week to week, the results have been varied, although still kind of consistent. You got your really good players, and then you got your players kind of on the come up, and then you got your players that are sort of like a threat, and then you got your players that are still putting in that work. And it's been kind of fun to sort of see it all in action. Obviously, we are restricted to uh, the, uh, the streams that everybody has since there is no spectator mode in this game. I make sure to mention that every single week because uh, I want there to be no mistaken about it. Uh, it's tough to get all the action in these tournaments, but it is actually pretty fun. So with that in mind, here's everything going on. I don't know how many people are actually in race yet or whatever. I could tell you Kugi's not because he's finishing up battle mode, but just want to open up and show all the, everything's going on right now. Uh, also, that's Swim at the top, not Kugi. My mistake. But um, yeah, that's what we got going on today. It does look like Dilly is might actually be racing and probably Luke and Swim is also currently in a race. But anyways, uh, and Kugi is in lobby now, so I am gonna leave this. Uh, oh, never mind. He's not in lobby. That was that was that was for battle mode. He's gonna be getting started. But in the meanwhile, uh, let me go ahead and get the focus on Luke and um, Dilly. Yeah, let's do that. And there we go. Yeah, I'm still kind of working out the kinks with my overlays here. Uh, it does capture everything, and it's all nice, but it needs to be optimized a little bit. But shout to Dilly, second place finish there behind Kunio. And uh, that's actually a pretty good win because Cuneo has been solid uh, in, in a lot of these re uh, tournaments recently. So definitely a good, uh, good to be in that company. But anyways, uh, what else you got going on? Okay, it looks like Luke is in the middle of a race. So there we have it. Yeah, Luke getting going. Just figured out he was streaming. And then I, actually, we do have another streamer, too. I just saw it in the Discord chat. Um, Ayano. So welcome aboard the crew. That's pretty fun. Always good to get new perspective and kind of just get new gameplay. Because uh, we obviously see uh, a lot of these guys every single week. But then there's always new people finding these tournaments. And that, that that's a really good thing. Because uh, that means they can only grow and they get more fun. Community building 101. Uh, that was not supposed to rhyme. I, I, I definitely apologize for that. But everyone is currently in uh, queue. And I do see it looks like we're going to get Grumble Volcano in at least one or two of these races. But in the meanwhile, uh, go ahead and use this tournament code. Enter. It's free. And it's fun. Uh, it's a good time. A lot of people that we see in our Smash events also stream in for us. So we get nice perspectives of these tournaments. And good time, and there we go. It does look like we have some races going off. So, uh, Kugi and uh, that is Dilly on the top right, <coughs> currently on Yoshi Meadow or whatever this stage is called. I always forget the name of the stage. It's a, it's a Yoshi stage. I know that it has a big egg in the middle. Uh, but yeah, they're just getting started. Meanwhile, we do have Grumble Volcano, just as I thought, on the left, featuring Luke and Swim. So we'll see what they got going on. Meanwhile. Uh, I am going to get this other URL that I have in for Ayano because I got to add him into the stream officially. And I found an available thing. Great. Dude, I got busy. I just forgot to add you in chat. <laughs> I was just making sure. I was just like, dude, what happens? I, anyways, yeah, I was just kind of opening up the stream, and I'm adding another streamer. We have five streamers today, which is actually pretty hype. Oh, that's lit, and one of them is not me. Yeah, right? We could have had, dude, we could have had six. That's like, uh, a re that's like a record. I think we've had six like once before, I think. I recall something along the lines of oh, that. Oh, dude, Moral Atheist, we do have six. Moral Atheist is streaming. 
Oh, shit. Oh, well, then we would have double broken the record. I'm sorry. Dude, I don't care. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> well, here I am on the other end of the sticks tonight. There was a uh, there's something I wanted to do at 8 o'clock. Obviously, that would have been in the middle of my races. So instead, I'm going to sit here and do what I was born to do instead. And that's commentate other people playing video games. Let's go. Yes. On the other end of the sticks. Even the game I'm good at this time. This time. Yeah, this time around. <laughs> Trying to find yeah. there he is. There's more Lathius. Yeah, so. Oh boy. We got. Oh, I cannot wait to judge these racers. This is gonna be lit. Yeah, you got it, man. This is uh, this is your time, and right now we're on. Uh, what what's the name of the stage? What's the name of this Yoshi stage? Is it Yoshi Meadow? This is Yoshi Valley. Valley. I keep calling it the wrong thing. I just know it's a Yoshi stage, and there's the big egg to tell us so. Yeah, Meadow Valley Hospital. What's the difference? Yeah, all the same stuff. Uh, meanwhile, we still have Luke on Grumble Volcano. Uh, it looked like Swim is having a little bit of a difficult time on Grumble, so decided to give, give him a little bit of breathing room. But we'll check in on him in a moment. It does look like he's still in ninth from what I can see. But this race did finish, and our three perspectives we got to watch getting in top four. Can I just say how much of the homie Dilly is right now? He's playing, he's playing Metal Mario. All of a sudden, I don't even. Was he, who was he playing before? Was he playing Inkling or something? He wasn't playing Metal Mario, that's for sure. I, I don't remember who exactly it was. I, some heavy. I think I'm thinking DK, but I know that's DK. PGP. Actually, that uh, sounds probably right. It does sound something like that. Really, it head. wasn't Metal Mario. So. He actually was in the 150cc game room with me while we were waiting. He just came in, just like ah, I just thought, I just thought I'd Yeah, he's just trying to chill. Like, oh. I get it. I get no, it. No, he's, he's yeah, he's a very frequent viewer of mine. So I don't know if he's doing that for me. I don't know if he's just doing it for himself. I don't know if he just woke up one morning and just realized the true superiority and character selection of Mario Kart 8 and decided to play him. Possible. But, there, there, there we go. It's possible. Before you guys, if you want to join this race, here's the code. It's free to anybody. You can join right now, starting here at 7 o'clock. It's recommended you start earlier, because then you'll probably be able to finish all your races. But it's still early enough right now, so if you want to, just put that tournament code into your uh, Nintendo Switch device from the company of Nintendo, and you're good to go. Let's go company of Nintendo. Uh, and it the does company. look like Moral Atheist, Dilly, and Kugi are going to stay in the same exact queue. So that's pretty cool. Uh, meanwhile, Luke on his own though. He's probably still in a queue with with uh, with uh, who was in his queue before? Swim Josh. Yeah. So mm. I, I I still got to set up these overlays to be more optimal. I just set up actually. I was supposed to like I was gonna do like a similar thing for the pound stream this weekend, and and the template turned out really nice. I just got copy for this. I just haven't done it yet. Lovely, lovely. So yeah, we're we're improving every man. week though. Yeah, you can say that Trying again. Though it's talking about self-improvement. That is Crystalodian for you in a nutshell. Can we talk about these tier whores on screen right now? They're all using the bitty bug with like the t <laughs> like the tiny wheels. Yeah, his name escapes me with the slim ones. That is, I believe, statistically the best car in the game. Are those the sponge wheels or whatever? No, not the. Oh wait. Oh, Dilly's not actually not using those. Yeah, those are the rollers. I That's believe it. they're yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, you're if right. I'm not mistaken. You, no, and you're right. Cookie right. was using the bike, whose name escapes me. I actually don't remember all the names because you know me. I I'm kind of a traditionalist when it comes to Mario Kart. The pipe frame. Sure. No, I back, dude. I say that. Beautiful. I say that every week. I, I like, listen like, to it every yeah, week. Yeah, it's true, man. It's it's very apparent. But um. Looks like a little bit of struggle bust on the stream, both for uh, Luke and Moral. Moral looks like he's probably just starting to get warmed up, though, because he's actually made a pretty good run um, a few of these circuits. I want to say he got top eight. I forget if it was last week or something like that, but kind of like on the low, just like getting better. Want to give him most improved, low key, because like ever since he started streaming these, he's become more consistent of a threat on the track not get a lot of you like you just see him placing a little better and i just want to thank him for streaming every week as well just hell yeah wonderful little scene alive while we muster through these times together and uh yeah like a little bit flopping right now not completely yeah oh no he just got passed by bullet bill he's kind of flopping yeah that's that's that's, that's the flopping. tough part uh sometimes like the items and the rng just not on your side you know uh yeah, no, I am. I'm. I just got Ayano set up. Um, but anyways, so yeah, a little bit. Of, yeah, a little bit of flopping from from these guys. But it's okay. I mean, something you can't be on every week. Kugi though is holding it down, and behind Ayano, I am definitely getting Ayano uh, in 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 here. So and. 
<laughs> his Twitch hero still has commercials from Twitch playing at the moment, so I got I gotta wait until <laughs> I can like actually be like, oh here he is. But guess what? Oh, here boy. he is. Waiting in his here lobby for his match. We got Ribbon Road, Mount Wario, Bowser's Castle. If you're a real one, if you're a real one, come on. Yeah, a boy. Atta boy, there you go. Get Mount Wario up in there. So, Best track in this game. I, dude, I agree. I think Mount Wario is incredible. Uh, and the funny oh, is, is like I've heard so many people express dislike towards it. Like I know Yulu doesn't like it. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if Kugi likes it. And that, that's an important opinion to have if Kugi likes it. Because because uh, I'm not sure if he does or doesn't. I've seen him do like speed runs of it, but I feel like Yulu was one time like I don't like it, and he's like, oh, I get why. And I was like, huh. uh, drugs. Well, smoking drugs. It, it is a really He's smoking drugs to not like Mount Wario. Well, the thing is, it, it's it's like one of the newer archetype of level, uh, where it's like it's basically like a big track versus the, the traditional yeah. laps. But uh, we do have a a full four getting started here, and this is exactly what I had envisioned when I first started these: is being able to see like one race from four different views, because you get a lot in that. Because um, you got to figure. You have someone on here like an Ikugi or Ayano in this case, uh, who's apparently a baller at this game, who's going to be in first, and then you're going to see like you know any variety of middle sections, so you kind of get the full scope of race. But anyways, here it is, Mount Wario, uh, Natuna's favorite, and something that I really like too. And it, the one thing I could understand about not liking on, on Mount Wario is the fact that it's like like in moments like this where there aren't laps and you're trying to get coins and the coins make a difference in your speed. Like if you're constant, like first place, if they're good at the course, you're going to get all the coins and no one else is going to get coins. And there's no place mm -hmm. to like make that up because it's just like one continuous trail versus like coming back around. Yeah, those coins ain't going to respawn. You know, they're gone. Like <laughs> that's that's the realism mod of, of Mario Kart for you right there. Yeah, it is. Um, that's one of the things about sections. Which fun fact, I believe was added in Mario Kart Seven. I believe Mario Seven was the first Mario Kart game to feature tracks that weren't in laps and had. I mean, it had. You know, most of them were still lap courses, but it was the first one to have like you know longer courses and sections, which I think was so cool because it just makes it so you can expand more on like a map. And, you know, just add more to a specific track instead of just having like a loop over and over again, which Ooh. I think was one of the most unique things they added in Mario Kart is this race goes on. And this vision is just perfect, as you were saying before, just seeing all like four of these, uh, just seeing the same race from four perspectives oh right God. now. But the one I'm expecting to not be flopping as hard as he is, is down there in the bottom right. Kugi sitting at 11th here in the final section, and he's actually doing the item strategy, hoping to like cheese for a bullet bill. Not going to get it, though. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, and that's the experience you see. And I don't know if you saw what led him to this, but uh, I was watching Kugi a little earlier around the parts where the trees happen. He did hit a tree, and that's probably part of why people don't like this map. Also, is it gets a little unpredictable, even that section where you know where the trees are. They're in the same place every time. Sometimes you just bump into them. There isn't, like, a really good way to approach that section, but damn. Uh, that's Aww. actually a really big blow to Kugi. Meanwhile, Sea River sitting at the top to just follow the stream, got the power up. Uh, EO right behind him, Ayano coming in at third, but... <laughs> Yo, let's go Yoni bro, bro. Also trying to get that, that, that stream power up. Let me know if you finish first in your next race. And if you're not entered, you can oh. enter right now. Uh, you can enter using that code. Uh, go to the online mode, search tournament by code, and you're in. That's pretty much all you got to do. You have until 9 p.m. Eastern time to finish your races. And that's it. But meanwhile, um, I don't want to forget about our other streamers because we do have a couple more. We got Swim Josh. We got Luke. Uh, Luke? Or, I'm sorry. Swim Josh in a, in a smaller queue, unfortunately. Looking like he's got four people in there. So we will check in maybe a little bit uh, more momentarily uh, considering I believe these four are still in the same race, question mark. Uh, no, they're not. They did split up. So um, let's see. Kugi and Ayano still duking it out, which... Those are two like heavy hitters for these events, as far as I'm aware. Like I did see Ayano win a race just earlier before before we got him live, and Kugi is Kugi, so we all know Kugi. No, Kugi's trash. He got last that last race. Yeah, I mean that's gonna hurt, dude. That's like a very much takes away from chance of getting top eight, especially with how competitive these have been. I don't know if you remember last week how tight the scoring was, but mm. no one got past 300 points last week, and usually there's like someone who surpasses 300. So that's gonna affect. Yeah the end for sure 
It all depends relative, Chris, on just how other people do. Like you said, you said pretty much nobody passed 300 last week, but the thing is, like, last week, I mean, even for the team build circuit, like, I had teammates hitting me for the first, like, eight races and stuff, <laughs> wasn't racing my best, wasn't Such warmed up, I just kept getting cheesed at the end. I think I wound up fourth at, at the at, at the final score at the end of the day, because I just turned it on, and I think Kugi can do that too, and frankly, I think he's likely to, because he's Kugi, as we say before, always doing this, and now he's on Royal Raceway, which... It's another one of my favorite tracks, personally. I just think it's a really, really good competitive Mario track. It's simple. It's got some pretty nice turns and sections. It's got, like, nice spacing in terms of the items and whatnot. It's a stage that, oh, wow, as he gets a really good backward snipe on the bottom right for Kugi. I just think it's a track that really rewards good racing, personally. And I'm anxious to see what Zanayu Z Z does it on it, too. Did I pronounce that right, Zanayu? So, I think it's... I see it as Ayano in, in Discord. But his like actual URL is like, I guess would technically be Zion. Ziano? I have no idea. I'm just gonna call him Ayano because that's what it says in Discord. It might just mm. been like finding that URL available. It's my guess. Mm. Thank you, Negaman, for the follow. It's an old friend of mine playing zombies with him yesterday. Let's Homie go. to the end. If you probably saw that, I'm posting it over on my channel. Let's go. Thank you so much for the follow here, Master Hand Gaming, doing the thing, doing the thing, and oh my God. Look at all this bopping happening for Moral Atheist at the top left. He gets hit by a bomb, but he's got a boombox in hand, so I think he should be fine, especially if he's able to land it on this one here. Oh my god! Oh, that was crazy. He actually bumped into her. Oh, and he got put in such a bad spot for that. that yeah, that sucks. is brutal. I mean, he is still in second place, though. Um, meanwhile, this race, Ayano getting third, and then Kugi right behind in fourth. I am going to go to the other race before it finishes because it does have Moral Atheist and a Luke Snywalker. So we'll see what happens here because they are getting pretty close to the finish. For Lukaska just getting past. Uh, right on the tails of Techie and Brooks is Luke looking for a few more points if he can before this race ends. Meanwhile, Moral Atheist is going to get it done at fourth. And Dilly also in this race just realizing looking like he got a... Uh, oh, I got to wait for him to finish. Oh, I just realized, I think Luke was in a different queue than Moral. I thought they were on the same map, but, uh... It yeah. happens. Yeah. Dude, some, that like that does mix me pretty hard, honestly. <laughs> There's some days where it just gets me. Little sneak in a ninth right there. No huge character reactions right there. Dilly just right above him at eighth place. Doing pretty good. Bumping into him right at the end of that, actually. You know what I'm detecting? What's that? I'm detecting a distinct lack of, of Gons right now. I feel like we got a Gons to stream up a little bit. Let me try something. Chris! <laughs> what Gons? You ever, what if, what, you ever think about what if you were a star? <laughs> that kind of sounds like Gons. You would ask me something I, I, like that. I think about that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like Gons. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I know Moral <laughs> Atheist just started this race, but like kind of pop and kind of pop. He usually asks me to be in, in on these and I'm usually like, okay, because I'm usually chilling on myself but he didn't ask me today. I was trying to do the God's commentary. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> we got, we got, we got Ayano, we got Kugi, we got Swim, I believe all in the same uh, queue because they're all just yeah. starting and they're all on that, whatever the rail track one is. Oh, I can Wario see Swim on mine. Zanyu's at the bottom left, so it is the same race for okay, these three. Sweet. Oh, yeah, you're right. Good call. You're right. Yeah, I just, I'm like, I saw the Bowser relative to the positioning on Swim stream where he was, and then I checked Zanyu's, and like, because he's further back, just to see, like, where if he was there in relative position, and he was in the exact spot. So, yeah, Dilly all alone on the uh, Royal Raceway right now. He's got four Lukaska and Kunio in front of him once again on Royal Raceway, which is a pretty frequent track in these people. Uh, guys, if you're a frequent to the Nintendo circuit, you probably noticed a little bit of a meta being established in the tracks that most racers like to go to when at least they're options. And Royal Raceway is definitely one of those, it's, right? One of those tracks, which it's I not, love personally. You know what it is about the stage? It doesn't have a lot, like some of the cheese that some of the other stages have where there's like some massive shortcut. It's like, there's a couple shortcuts, but they're pretty honest, you know? Like, you don't like like uh, I don't know. There is it's not like the Rainbow Road where you're like hopping track to track and all of a sudden you have like made some insurmountable lead if someone doesn't know exactly where the shortcut is. Like these shortcuts are pretty reasonable. 
Oh god, look mm -hmm. out for that bomb. Oh, never mind. Very item, very item dependent track when it comes to shortcuts, and even then, you know, like you still gotta like know how to use them properly to be able to get around. Fun fact, Swim got that bullet bill when I think he was in seventh. And if I were him, I'd pop it. Because you never know when lightning is just gonna come out of nowhere. No, you're and right. Just take that away. Get that there call it is, it. yeah. You I'm literally a, called I'm it. That is exactly what happens. I'm up this is why I place. This is why Mintunist is the greatest Mario Kart player in the server. This is why he's better than Kugi. He's better than Glenn. And he's better than Shikai, depending on when he changes or that. I'm not better than any of those players. Do not think <laughs> like, you keep talking that ish, man. I, just keep going. Me. I mean, I'm down to talk that ish. The point is, I called that from a mile away. You don't hold on to a bomb bomb, uh, not bomb bomb, a bullet bill for that long when you have it. You literally cannot predict when lightning is going to strike literally and metaphorically when lightning is going to strike and that is just what happened to swim right there but despite all of that he found his way up to third somehow i don't know how he did it but like he's just he's bopping yeah meanwhile uh i do want to uh, the other race i was gonna uh, flash over to swim and 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 uh luke the problem is is i'm sorry dilly and luke because they are both on royal raceway but they're both kind of uh struggling each looking like a six or oh wow i don't know how Dilly pulled that off, ended up with a fourth, and meanwhile Luke ended up on 11th on the other side of things, but uh, along with that, there was for Luke Hoska getting second, and I, I don't know if I saw that correctly, I think I saw Dyla? Is that is that a thing? I might have that wrong. What? It was pretty small on my screen, I might be wrong, uh, but but what? possibly Dyla if, if, if he's fine. That would be too hype if he started racing in these. Because this is the kind of game that I can see that man taking seriously. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I don't know how I don't know how Dilly pulled that out. It's a shame I missed that. But he basically like clunked into three other uh, carts and went from like eighth to fourth. But shouts to that, well played, regardless. Uh, and it does oh, look like sure. he and Luke are going to continue in the same lobby. Give them a little bit of love. Going to leave them on the screen for a moment. And then the other three that we were saying. Oh, wow. We might have four people on the other end of some things. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah, this is exactly what he's supposed to be running. Good stuff. And it gives me. And now I actually understand how these templates should be organized. So that'll be good for next time. But this is this time. This time. I would argue that front running is just as fun when you're in third place, if, uh, when you're in uh, when you're on the third lap, if not more, because that's when things start to get all uh, scary. But this is looking to be a really stacked race right here, and on Big Blue, another one of my personal favorite tracks for yep. you know just the ambiance, the atmosphere, and the music alone. Yeah, Big Blue is a good one, and that's one of those Mario Kart eightified levels where it's just one big course versus the uh, the laps. <laughs> So pretty fun just for that, and it does. It, it, it is a fun race. Uh, I'll leave this going just for a minute. So, uh, man, uh, we actually saw Kugi have. I think last week. Oh no, it was last Tuesday. He didn't have internet connection, but the week before that, I'm trying to remember. I think he still placed top eight, but had like one of his like rougher days. But it does look like he is now sort of like out for blood. He's doing everything right. He's hit every single shortcut that he could hit right now. Uh, I do believe it was last week's Team Doe circuit that he couldn't play in. Yeah. Which was kind of huge because it was Kings versus Queens. Yeah, and he's... Rosalina. He, he would have literally... <laughs> there there was no help player, in the Queens. Yeah. There was no help in the Queens, though, to be fair. Uh, he would have carried... tweeted a Kugi to shake my hand before the race started. <laughs> He would have definitely helped, but like, I don't know, the things that happened in, in that race were, were pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, that they were. Kings all the way. Now Kugi's got a bomb in hand all the way in first place here on uh, Game Boy Advance Mario Circuit. Uh, this is the one from uh, Mario Super Circuit. Mm -hmm. Fun fact for me, only Mario Kart game. Literally, I've even played the arcade Mario Kart. I was at a movie theater once and they had it. I've been literally the only Mario Kart game I've never played. Oh, besides Tor, I never played Tor actually. I thought I didn't want to. I actually like, haven't played way. Tor either, but like that's that's funny. I actually, that one came, I think, with the Ambassador program for the the 3DS when it was new. I don't know if you remember what the Ambassador program was, but it was basically no. if you bought a 3DS uh, before a certain date, you essentially had to. Uh, you could register it, and then they gave you 10 free Nintendo games, NES like like virtual console games, and then they gave you 10 Game Boy Advance games, and Mario Kart was one of those Game Boy Advance games. It was actually, it was Mario Kart, it was Metroid Fusion, I believe, uh, it was a Link to the Past, like it was actually a pretty solid deal, like, that was like actually really cool. That's pretty sick. 
Yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. It was because like I think I forget what it was just. It couldn't have been Smash 3DS, but something was announced for Smash where all of a sudden people were buying 3DS and they wanted like a loyalty program because the 3DS launched with like nothing. <laughs> so, I remember that. Yeah, but I yeah, I remember buying one when it was new and going to the store and, and yeah, it, it was it was a good day. It got me to play a Zelda game, which I was not into at the time, because Ocarina of Time 3D was like one of the only games that dropped for it. There was Ocarina 3D, Pilot Wings, and I think the Star Fox remake. Yeah, you're right. Wait, you're oh, wait, are you talking about the virtual console games? No, the 3DS launch. Oh, the 3DS. 3DS. There was Pilot Wings on that? Because it didn't have anything when it launched. I remember that. Yeah, and, then, and then we had the Wii U, which didn't have anything to its whole lifespan. So. That's true. Uh, it's really weird how Nintendo does those things. It does seem to launch their consoles with, like, nothing. Uh, the Wii launched... Actually, there's always, like, a Zelda game around, because there was Breath of the Wild, which was around for uh, uh, the, so the Switch's launch. And then I remember... Uh, what else? What, what was I getting at here? There was another Zelda game. Oh, the Wii. Twilight Princess didn't come that mm -hmm. long after uh, the release, because I remember having that almost immediately, and that was, like, the oh, one game I played. It yeah, it was launch, right? Yep, and yeah. then the GameCube, which had freaking Melee, which was probably one of the biggest launch games ever, ever being real. I forget Wii that's Mansion, a launch. I forgot that was a launch game. I 100% yeah. did not. Like, even now you're telling me, I'm just like, wow, really? But like, it's funny, is I bought GameCube, like, at launch. I had GameCube's it early. launch was, like, overpowered. There were too many good games that dropped on day one. Yeah, I remember just getting, like, uh... What did I have? I had a. I remember getting like Wave Racer, and I, I had a bunch of things. Are you sure Melee was launch day? I feel like I'm bugging I'm out. Why did I take so long to get it then? That's so weird. It was a launch day for America, at least. I'm so. I think. December oh yeah, I was living in Japan. I'm just joking. I was not living in Japan. Uh, I don't know. I have, to, I, have to, I have to look. Yeah, Nintendo's launch games used to be just too broken, man. I mean, and then sort of crapped out a little bit with the Wii, but even so, not really. Wii Sports had something for everybody. I played the hell out of that game when I was 10. And uh, the Monkey Ball launch as well. It still was kind of lacking when it dropped, when it came to the Wii. I'm not going to lie. The first, literally, there was a Sonic game on the Wii before there was a Mario game. Sonic and the Secret Rings came out before Super Paper Mario did, which was literally the first Mario game on the system. And, I remember that. Yeah. And Sacred Rings was just... Like, that, that game was awful. <laughs> that game was pretty bad. You know a game is bad when you're like... You know a Sonic game is bad when like you're 10 years old, however old, when it comes out to the age where you can't really critique if it's bad or not because like you usually just play it no matter what because you're like, oh, pretty colors. You like use your... as a game, whatever. And even then you can't finish it because you're just not having fun. Yeah, I know. Did everyone hate. Oh no, Kugi. He was going for that last ditch effort and kind of missed. Mm -hmm. uh, is going to get another bad placing. Oh no, and does it again. Yeah, sometimes it just happens like that. And he is. This is last lap, so that's going to be another last probably for him. Possibly 11th, but at this point, yeah, just get that star, finish where you can. Oh no. Okay, okay. Oh man. Meanwhile, on the other on the other end of things, Ayano, yeah, it looked like him and Liam and kind of got stuck towards the back there, um, and it happens, man. I mean, sometimes sometimes you just don't finish the best. Meanwhile, Dilly is going to take a sixth place, and let's see, there is Kree, Fulu, Tosca, Brooks, Teki, and Kunio. Pretty solid queue, um, all finishing ahead there. So we um, also got Dilly in chat saying he can't hear us, but then we have Kunio responding to the conversation we were having. So no, yeah, it, no, it's, it, it's okay. OBS is still showing a signal, so and, okay, and, and good, I, good. You, so right. I gotta imagine that it's okay. Yeah, you would you would probably realize that. Well, yeah, it, it's it the just... kind of thing where I would see in my stream and I'd be like, oh, oh, what's wrong? What am I doing? But then Chris. Oh, dude, I've been there. So I've been I, <laughs> like, I've been there. I've, I've been there a lot of times, more oh, yeah. times than I care to admit, actually. Uh, in terms of like just not knowing. Uh, okay, so oh shh. Chat. Glenn, Bryce, Gosh, Kugi, nice. Ayano, dude, what an what a ridiculous oh. cue to have. Oh, and it's on. Oh my God, it's on Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road too. Yeah, this is uh definitely the 
what do you think about this Rainbow Road? I actually, I'm not a huge fan, just because uh, this is what I was talking about earlier, where there's just, like, too many shortcuts, so I'm just kind of like, all right, like, you get it, you have shortcuts. I've been waiting to be on commentary for this event, just so I could literally say this one thing. This is probably among my least favorite Rainbow Roads in the whole It's not series. good. It's not a good Rainbow Road. Not even just for, like, the reasons that you would think, because, oh, the shortcuts or whatever. The shortcuts are one thing. I hate this Rainbow Road aesthetically. Yeah, why is there, the like, ones. it's it's supposed to be, like, mystic and nice and, like, magical exactly. looking, and then there's, like, there's, like, a mechanical part. Why is that? Thank you! Thank you so Doesn't much! It's Rainbow Frickin' Road! It's supposed to be a magical road in the sky for, for like, gay pride, dude. Yeah, but it's <laughs> not, it's like not that, that at all. It, it, like, a space station. Be like, oh, see? There's a reason that all of this is capable. We built this, uh, this is the International Mario Kart Space Station we built to have the like, No! I don't like that as lore behind it. Rainbow Road is supposed to be a magical road in the sky that floats up there by itself because it's mystical and magical. You know, and instead, they decided to make it like a boring ass space station. I hate so it. So this is the interesting part. And yeah, I mean, you're right. It is it is space stationy. And the thing about that is, I guess maybe it was when you think about this when this game actually came out. It was when Mario Galaxy was new, um, or you know, around the time it was newer. Fourteen. So, so well, that's uh, when that's when Mario Kart Wii U, right? I mean, they both came out on. on or, or, no, I'm sorry, they both came out. This came out after after Galaxy, obviously. Yeah, but this was a Wii Galaxy U game. This Galaxy. was the Wii U game. But yeah. Either way, like they had all like the space kind of stationy stuff there, and maybe they just tried to make it theme. Either way, it just it falls flat and doesn't look very good. Well, even so, Mario Galaxy didn't look like this. Yeah, Mario Galaxy was set in space, but it was set in a bunch of different galaxies. It would take you anywhere, man. Just because it was set in space, it didn't have, like, the space realism mod on. At yeah, least not I don't, I don't know. Levels, it was definitely but... definitely a flap from Nintendo with, the, with I'll regard admit, to that. Yo, Moral Atheist, game. though? Gonna finish it, first, though? No? Dude, he, dude, a lot of these racers are bopping, man. That's over Glenn. Well, actually, no, it's not No, no, uh, he's, he's on his own. Glenn is uh, currently being spectated via Luke stream. Uh, and okay. then uh, Ayano is just, like, totally killing it. Glad you're beside the, the stream now, man, because it's another one of those winning perspectives. Meanwhile, Kugi's going to continue with a little bit of a rough day. Finishing at 7th. Don't let it beat you up, dude. I mean, you're always a beast at these. Bryce getting in fourth. Circa fifth. Uh, temp plan, who I'm not exactly sure who it is, but is using a baby, so shout out to that. I like to see some character diversity, because we don't usually see it. TBH. All about TBH. them top tiers. I will admit, though, to reiterate on the last topic, to bring up something that was already dead, I will admit the Rainbow Road in Mario Kart 8 makes sense for this game. Because this game's a big part of this game's theme is that it's supposed to be like the Mushroom Kingdom's national sport, and it's supposed to show how mm. advanced of like a nation the All Mushroom right. Kingdom is because they can have like anti gravity races. So the fact that it's like set in space like that is supposed to like fit into that sort of futuristic theme. I don't know if you played any of the other like Mario sports games, but if you played like Mario Strikers for one, it's got like this whole like steampunk theme to it where like the ball is made of metal, and like the more they charge it, they can like kick it further. It's supposed to be like. I don't know. I always got like some weird like technology undertones when it came to the Mario sports games, at least like the more recent ones. So I'll admit for this game, it makes sense, but I'm still not about it personally. I just like the other Rainbow Roads better. Like this one. This one is so beautiful, man. Yeah, this is way better. Uh, and this is this is the N64 Rainbow Road just uh, with a lot more going on than there was in N64. But I do want to I just realized. So it sounds like uh looking at chat or actually no not chat this is in the discord apparently uh dark who also enters these tournaments a lot is where ayano comes from and glenn's saying he's reached out to several competitive mario kart 8 players basically to, to kind of come and join so that explains why we're seeing competition get like a lot better so shout out to that man that's pretty exciting stuff and oh, we have seen man. a few oh Nintendo's no cookie circuit's about to become a little more stacked yeah, well, this is uh, already kind of stacked. The funny thing is, is like I, people would be down for this in general. It's just like this is like we're literally reviving a game that is so old now. <laughs> because like even when this game yeah. is new, it wasn't new because it's a port. Mm. You know? Yeah, so very like, true. Yeah. And as much as this port added at the end of the day, it, it was didn't. literally the same game. Because it added so much, but like the one thing it didn't add were like new tracks. But like funny enough, which is like the main thing about Mario Kart games, really. Yeah, let's so. go. Dilly getting second, uh, just behind C Rivers, who I wonder if he came from uh, Glenn's looking for competitive players because I've Dilly. seen place pretty high. <laughs> kind <Dilly>. of popping. <laughs> 
Yeah, you, you do be kind of often. For all in the theme of like doing impressions of the local Smashers nowadays, as it seems to be the recent trend. Ah, oh, it's the worst. Yeah. Definitely not it, but it'd be like that. <laughs> but it just it depends. Anyways, um, yeah, let's see what we got going on. Very clear that Ayano is definitely a competitive player, cause and, and as I as I'm saying it, I'm realizing he is using the Roy, and that's that's a meta pick, dude. Uh, the heavies in this game are that they are the meta, just cause the nature of this game, uh, it just caters towards if you're knocking people around instead of being knocked around. Because the acceleration speed that you get for being small character frame just doesn't really make up for the fact that you just get like hit so often in this game. That, the, that there's so many tracks where you just fall off and you're done. Basically, yeah. The, the, you know, the big major difference is that the heavy is having the best top speed once they finally reach yeah. their max speed. And then the uh, small characters having the worst top speed, but they recover from getting hit by items a lot faster. Which varies from situation to situation, but like... It really depends. Like, if you're playing, if you like a race where you're getting bombarded by items, it may or may not matter depending on how fast your character can recover. Or if you're more into like the speed running scene of Mario Kart, the speed running scene, they usually compete for world records on tracks in like time trials and stuff. And in those races, that's where pretty much almost every, you know, that's where pretty much always every competitor and every speedrunner plays up just about the same characters with the exact same cart because they pretty much have the game solved to a science right. at that point, you know? They pretty much all play a heavy and they use like the bitty bug with the roller wheels, all that. Most of them play Roy and Morton for whatever reason specifically. I don't I don't think they specifically are better, but I wouldn't really know. I'm pretty sure if you're like a lightweight character, you're a lightweight. If you're a medium, you're a medium. And if you're a heavy, you're a heavy. I, I don't think the individual characters have stats beyond that, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think but, so. No, I think it, yeah. it, it's literally just weight as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's pretty much what... Uh, that's pretty much what makes sense. But here, I, I, funny enough, I don't think it matters too much because unless you mess up on the right like Dilly did, unfortunately. Yeah, and I'm going to go around uh, on the side. This track is the one that really just stagnates a race. There's a reason that a lot of like the competitive racers in these uh, tournaments that we got going on here now don't like to race on Excite Bike too much. And that is because pretty much everybody just gets to constantly do tricks on the exact same areas all the time. And once you do that, if everybody is just doing the same thing for the entirety of the race, the places just aren't going to change too much. You'll find when you race on Excite Bike, if you're like far back, like you're in eighth. How long has Dilly been in eighth this whole uh, time? Have you, been, have you been looking at that for pretty much the whole time we've been watching him, right? Yeah, pretty much. And you're right. It, this is, it's kind of a, it's like Baby Park, but not for the reasons that Baby Park is like Baby Park. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's like there's really not a lot to do to help your situation or to, like, skillfully get past something necessarily. And you're kind of at the whim of the track. And this is just a track where, I mean, it's modeled off of Excite Bike, which is, like, literally about as basic of, like, a game as you could get. And there's just not a lot of room to do much. Uh, it, there's only places to mess up, whether it be, like, the mud puddles or, you know, just falling off to the side. But Dilly is going to salvage whatever he can there. Get an eighth. And meanwhile, Swim coming in fifth. Uh, just behind Keon Bryce, Mr. M, and KGP coming out with a big first place. Woo woo! Shout outs to Brownie Boys Brownies. Uh, meanwhile, Brownies. we're bringing it back to Rainbow Road. Uh, Iano Morrill are there. Meanwhile, it does look like Koogie uh, is on. Is this Dry Dry Desert or which one is this? I don't think it's Dry Dry uh, Desert. This is Bone Dry Dunes. Bone Dry Dunes. Which is considered bottom tier by not just me, but I, I'm, again, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I, it's frequent to the Glintendo Circuit Discord. A lot of us don't really like this track very much. I can understand why. This isn't really, there's not a lot to like about it. It gets kind of confusing at this part that we're seeing Kugi approach, um, where it's like you can kind of go to that side path or he gets, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't like the way it's laid out, really. Yeah. It's, Neither do I, where it's like split in the middle here, and then you just have to pick a right way. And then once you actually get off on this ramp that Kugi is about to go off, first of all, that spot up there, damn near impossible to get to. I don't care what character you're playing. I don't know why it's there. It reminds me of that one-up that's in Mega Man 3 that you need to use the rush jet to get to. And then in the next section, you need to use your rush jet to get across a giant chasm, otherwise you die. So the point of the one-up being there is just completely redundant, because if you get it, you have to waste it. You know, it's like the same thing, basically. It's like, I don't know why that's there, but whatever. Kugi going to power through the lackluster track in Bone Dry Dunes and going to get a good second this time around. A lot better than how he was doing before. Let's see if he'll be able to 
salvage that later on. Yeah, and uh, I can't I... even stop thinking about what you said about bone. Uh, what you said about Excite Bike, man. It's like, it's it's like the opposite of Baby Park in the sense because Baby Park you just get cheesed, and then on Excite Bike you're hoping you get to cheese somebody, but you never get the chance. Yeah, it's a really strange track. But um, meanwhile we have uh, what's a, what's this little desserty one? I'm gonna eventually know all the names of these courses a little better. But oh yeah, before I get to that, I do want to point Sweet out. Canyon. I believe. Sweet, sweet canyon. Um, that makes me think of the Simpsons thing that I'll bring up later. But uh, yeah, so C Rivers, though, I think it, he might be on that professional end of players at, at Glen reached out to because he did get first in that last race, uh, just above Kugi. Kugi narrowly almost winning that last one. But in this one, uh, Swim is currently in the lead. And this is not something that we're unfamiliar to seeing like swim does know how to lead a race the problem is those last laps sometimes is not generous to him whether it be from items or something else and maybe i'm right on cue with this but just as he's about to get the lap three here it comes uh bryce right ahead of him and right behind him is dilly Ooh. i don't know who's in first but it does look like someone who is playing bryce is Bryce in first? Oh, yeah, Bryce is in first. Yeah, so KGP yeah. falling down to fourth. I think KGP was in, in first for a moment. KGP apparently putting in the work, too, because I think he got top eight during teams last week. I might be mistaken on that. but uh, He think he got seventh, I think. Yeah, because I think there was like some kind of crazy tie for eighth, and he was just above that. But I might... Or I might be one off on that, but regardless, uh, we'll see what happens in this last Actually, lap. I'm on the Discord. I can literally check that right now. Yeah, me too. I'm just, I'm just not. For some reason. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do uh, it. Oh, no. Dilly. Yeah, he got seven. He got oh. seven. Okay, yeah. Solid. So, yeah. Letting it unload. Uh, Dilly coming in fifth. Maybe could have did things a little different with the items. Maybe not, though. It's kind of a difficult place to be in. Bryce with the Toad uh, coming in first. Key on second. Might also be a newer competitor. Um, and shout out to newer competitors. Definitely I love seeing new, uh, new places, new people here. Uh, meanwhile. Uh, let's take it back to, let's see, that looks like Ayano and Moral Atheist in the same race. Meanwhile, uh, Luke might be on his own. Let me just double check that I'm not missing someone here. Got on Moo Moo Meadows. Moo Moo Meadows. Then bottom left and top right, we got the Electrodrome with Moral Atheist and uh, Zanya. I keep messing up. I keep messing just up just call him Ayano. 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 Ayano, I think, is, is the safe bet. Ayano. Because that, that's what it says in Discord, so I could only imagine. That's what I'm going with then. But anyways, yeah, he's killing it, dude. This is uh, I Honestly, I would not be surprised if he Let's wins the circuit today. Uh, it seems very likely. I haven't really seen him placed any worse than third. So provided he stay on the same track, or the, I say track, but probably stay on the same pace, uh, I hope he's fine because he just blew everyone out of the water there. Uh, second place just finishing now. Um, and there, there we go. Uh, it looks like Sea Rivers getting first place again on the bottom right above Kugi. Ayano getting first place just above Moral Atheist. Solid race. Um, and yeah, that, that's what we could expect, man. Competition definitely getting fierce in the Glentendo circuits. And if you are interested in joining these circuits and think that, wow, this is kind of a cool stream, kind of a cool concept, all these screen shares, well, guess what? You're right. Uh, and you could be part of it too. Just use that tournament code in the top right. Um, you see it right next to uh, the Nintendo Circuit logo. Put it in your Switch. You're in for free. Uh, and, and that's it. That, that's all you got to do. Meanwhile, though, uh, if you are just joining, keep in mind you only have until... Or you have another hour and 15 minutes to finish your races. So you might miss one or two. But it's technically probably not too late. I think it probably takes about an hour and a half to get all 24 uh, possible races in. From, if from anything, you can show up and then you'll have, like, the bigger, you know... You'll have the bigger ego because, like, you outplaced us all in less races. Yeah, totally. Just go, just go ahead and do that, and then, then where will we be? <laughs> where will we be? We didn't listen. <laughs> oh, who will it be? Why will it be? Dilly, how it be? It's just hanging on behind Bryce here, starting their final lap as Swim. Chilling in six right now. Def a little bit down, but definitely not out. Going to fall back to a little bit of seventh. And Dilly, blinded by the light, or by the dark, I should say, with the blooper right there. Bryce definitely bopping, but he's just going to go ahead and pop it. Definitely going to use his protection or not. It looks like Bryce actually didn't have any. That's yeah. crazy. And then he gets a boost, and then he gets the mushroom stolen from his own kind. Yeah, that, that is your king. Yeah, that that's kind of messed up. 
but sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you're in the position where you're in first and you are sitting duck because you don't have anything to defend you. Um, it's definitely a position that I think <gasps> anyone who's played this game has found themselves in. Oh no! And Dilly not checking behind him when he needed to. He, he, was, he had the best item you can possibly have when yeah. you're in first, and that is the boombox, which is not the official name, but you know what, I forget what it's called. It's called like the just the sound thing, whatever. And But he didn't check behind him for a red shell. Cause like, yeah, you got protection from like one of the hardest items to avoid, but you gotta make sure you don't have that behind you. And Bryce just stealing that game back with another red shell. That is Mario Kart 101, my friends. You just gotta realize you're never safe. This game is like being grabbed by Mario in Ultimate. It doesn't matter what percent you're at. It doesn't matter what character you are. You're just not safe. Nothing about it is safe. Yeah, that's, it happens, man. But either way, still a respectable second place. Um... Still got to yeah, take those coins wherever we can get them. Because, uh, like, uh, for example, like, Kugi's Q right now is an absolute, like, uh, it's kind of mayhem. Uh, it's got Glenn. <clears throat> it's got Ayano, I believe. It's got Kugi. And these guys are kind of duking it out with each other for those placings. So getting a second place in that kind of race is, is, is still pretty good. But either way, Kugi making those quick moves, cutting off all kinds of time. Literally everything about what Kugi just did was perfect. Like he did, as, he placed as well in this race as he possibly could have considering what he did. Gonna fall down to see Rivers again, but he just used every item at the exact opportune time after getting sniped by EO backwards with that green shell while he was stuck in eighth. And he just got the, he got mushrooms when he needed them. And in between those, he got stars. That He just utilized that as perfect as he possibly could have to be able to bring that back. And when you play in these Mario Kart tournaments, Oh, that is such a satisfying feeling. Won't lie to you. And then it does look like we did just finish on Toad's Turnpike. Ayano with another first place to boast about. Um, and we'll let you know what the results are on that. Zodiac falling right behind with a grand total of 120 uh, points, which is still pretty solid, man. Zodiac has been a solid performer at these as well. Uh, we don't get to watch his stream, but he is entering every single week and is always usually doing pretty well. Uh, meanwhile, um, this is now, we are officially past the time where you probably won't finish your races if you enter, but you will get to, f uh, farm some CPU, so there's always that, and, you get, and also you get to play with the boys, which is, well, you know, what more could you want, that's always fun. Farmer Brown. <laughs> yes. It ain't much, but it's all in this work. <laughs> I got bodied. Meanwhile, more right, Atheist oops, getting, getting a second place finish, uh, Luke with the seventh, seeing a uh, skin arctic getting first. Unfamiliar with the tag. Um, I have seen it a little bit today, but uh, getting a solid first place nonetheless. I never noticed on Moral Atheist stream he's got a point counter. That's hype. I oh, that is so smart, dude. I want that stupid hype. That is oh, that is dude Moral. That. Moral knows a thing or two, man. He's, he's Moral's a smart guy. He's got the he's got the right idea. <laughs> yeah, man. Talk to farmers. He knows a thing or two because Moral atheist has seen a thing or two. Dude, check out Sea River is playing the Roy. Uh, currently being spectated at the moment by Ayano, but looking like uh, still pretty good to watch. This is this is what I would imagine optimal Mario Kart play looks like. You can't see his mini map, but it looks like he's far ahead. I haven't seen an item thrown at him in, in a while. And look out. All these fast moves this guy's got. Good lord. Have you ever seen a man bop? Dude, this he hard is. In your dude, life? look at him. I don't. I don't want to take the camera. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Holy crap! Bro, oh man. my god, he's got the protection unlocked. Did you see that? Yeah, he's drift? fine. He's big chilling, dude. He hasn't. Ah. He's even oh, using the Wiggler off. bike. Like. He's at his what max boss. speed too. He hasn't been hit in a very long time, which means he's going as fast. Oh as God, he's going too he fast. He's hitting all the things. Oh, oh, oh my God, doesn't matter. But now he's he's clear oh. of that mess. Dude, what a beast! He just decided to play bumper cars with himself. He lost the race because of that. Oh man. Oh no 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 no! no, no. He still has another lap. He still has another lap. Glenn is in oh. first, so this is hype. Whoever's spectating this, uh, it's Ayano is doing a really good job. Oh, classic Glenn. He just needs his uh, he just needs his opponent to mess up royally for him to go off on Twitter about it later. Yeah, we'll see. I I'm not convinced. He, oh, there's the blue shell uh, we were all expecting. Sea River is uh, really carefully navigating around that. Does have a red shell at his disposal. So even if Glenn does get the beat on him, uh, he's gonna get sniped. And if he has something to throw, ain't gonna work. The only thing Sea Rivers is really vulnerable to is a blue shell. I don't think he's gonna slow down. 
Uh, he did throw that red shell back. I think he's pretty much done with the race, so that's why. Yo, mm -hmm. coming third with the star. Um, got a red shell. Oh, he's got four. Yeah, this Never is mind. a... Let's see if we'll be able to sneak out a oh, second. Oh, no, that Goomba, dude. Messing him up. Now the red shell, just like that, you think you're going to get some points and four places further back than you thought, but uh, that was kind of hype. It you is know, absolutely that was, that was amazing hype. that Goombas can just withstand a motor vehicle, but not a person's feet. Yeah, that is something. Maybe it's just because it's like you hit the soft spot of their head, you know? Because it's like... Maybe they're really sturdy up front. Mm, but like their heads are it's like a baby you know well, not that babies right. are sturdy up front but like if you hit their head they're pretty you know mm. ba baby anatomy 101 whatever I don't ba know. baby anatomy 101 for you yeah, guys right I, I, here I, obviously. by the way my thing is at eight but it's not like something i have to do it was just something i kind of wanted to do oh. if you don't have access to another commentator i can stay here if you want uh yeah, that's up to you, man. I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to screw up your, your normal plans. I, I no, know you I said you had plans. No, I was just gonna like, um, it was this part of the, um, what, what do you call it? This, um, this thing of the actors connection, which is where I took my voice classes. They were having like a one-hour meditate. Oh, Jesus! As, as Dilly just bumps right into the wall. Is he gonna be able to cheese this with the mushrooms? Wow! Got right back into the place he was in before after bumping into the wall there. That was. Dude, that I'm looking at Kree's points total 143. He's having a really good day too. I'd love to get. I'd love to see like if Kree ever uh, streamed, and I think Kree is someone who was playing Smash too. I might have that wrong, uh, but in either case, these races just laying out in all the right kinds of ways. Because here we are, not Wario, Ayano, Luke, and it looks like Swim, who is I think that said 12 threes. I may have that wrong. I, could, I think yeah. it definitely have to be more than 12. But also just getting Animal started. Animal Crossing is a very interesting way to spell Mount Wario. But oh, yeah, dude, like yeah, Luke's you're right. That's, it's it's gonna just... be yeah. Shake my hand. It's looking like Luke is. It, gonna... I just saw like the blue shadowing, and it looked like hilly. <laughs> Anyways, Animal Crossing yeah. stage. Is nah. that, was I was just saying, I don't if you didn't have another that. commentator on deck, like, I wouldn't mind staying if you just didn't want to, you know, caps by yourself or whatever. Oh, well, I mean, I'll happily I'll happily keep you if you're staying, but, like, if you had things, like, like it sounds like the thing you're going to is actually pretty good, too, so, like, don't feel bad about that. All right, if you insist. If you insist, I'll just wait, I'll just wait a minute or two. All right, cool. See if we can get Gons up in here or something. So we can actually get some good old. You can actually hear bopping and flopping. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll mess with Gans. <laughs> Here's some actual solid bopping and flopping the way it's supposed to be heard. Because I can't suffice. It's not. It's not the same when I do it. Unfortunately. Yeah. Guys, just different styles. That's all it is. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Um... All right. Yeah. Looking at the screen now. Jeez, I was always, dude. How's he get so far ahead? Every time. Oh no, looking too far back. Does slip up on the banana peel? Techie is gonna get a little bit of a uh, opportunity here, but I do think he's guarded up with. The, yeah, he's guarded up with a red shell. Ayano armed with the green one. Probably gonna. Okay, yeah, just tossing that back and does actually land it because Roy does his little pop off thing he does when you when you connect. Mm, yeah, that's how you know. That's how you know your character's coming in clutch for it. Alright, rolling, rolling. Moral Atheist doing pretty well on Dragon Driftway right here. He's in third, but he's got both of his opponents in front of him. He both just got hit by lightning, which is sort of like a relatively comfortable thing when that happens. When you know, like, oh, we all got hit by the lightning here. Like, we all, like, lost our items, and now we're all going at just about the same speed. Now it's just all about skill. It's like communism just hits all of a sudden, and you're all in the exact same position. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. That's pretty much what lightning is. It's the communism item. Dude, Except K for the one person at the top who uses the lightning. Yo, KGP getting, <laughs> yeah. KGP getting a big win, by the way, coming out on top over Ayano. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, and then Luke coming in third place. I think that may have been his... I don't know if it's his first top three for today, but it's definitely a top three for today. So that's definitely going to help the points a little bit. Meanwhile, good for the old... Uh, good good to feel... Good, good to uh, get a top three. And it does look like Dilly is on the tails of Black Mamba. Does just pass him. Never mind. Take that back. Uh, Black Mamba still ahead. Uh, Pepper right there. And Dilly just he's just spamming the buttons now because he realizes his, his time is 
his time is nearly up here, but does get the mushrooms a little bit of chance to do something. Still, never mind. I thought I, I thought maybe he could salvage, but it's okay. Moral Atheist on the other end, coming in first. Uh, yeah, dude, the grinds, the grinds are paying off. Hold on a second. Just trying to lower this down real quick. Okay, there we go. Uh, I've, I've looked away for a second, but I haven't. No, so uh, Moral Atheist getting in first, uh, dealing in the same race, not not having not having his, his best race, but, you know, it'd it be like that sometimes. But uh, we do have Rainbow Road going on right now, Ayano and Luke currently showing us that. So I'm going to try and get both those guys. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll do, actually, no, Luke's having a good race, so I'll go there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, because Kugi's also racing right now and looking pretty good, so I'll get him up in a moment. Uh, but in the meanwhile, uh, we are on a Rainbow Road, so... I actually don't really love this Rainbow Road. I, I've, I've, grown, I've grown to be a fan of it. How many I've grown Rainbow to be roads? a fan of it, I'm not going to lie. Are there three? I, I didn't like it originally, but like... I just like how it looks, and I've just I've just gotten used to it. I don't know. Maybe I've just won a few races. On okay, there so aesthetically, and... it looks better than the other Rainbow Roads for sure, even though it's like super basic. But other than that, like it's just like this is where it comes in handy being like uh, we were talking about the, the heavy archetype because there's so many places to fall off and so many places where the the road's just narrow, where if you're heavy, you're just going to have the advantage. And if you're yeah. a baby, you're just done. Oh no, no! All right, Luke almost going off the side. Meanwhile, Ayano just getting things finished and coming second. Is it, tell me that's to it's a link. We'll coming to see, link? What? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see who that first. Is. Okay, Zodiac. Yeah, repping the uh -huh. link coming in just above Ayano. Meanwhile, I, Ayano slowly but surely collecting those points. Still at 170, which looks to be the highest point total so far. So, uh, looking pretty good. But we do have Moral on Ribbon Road, Swim Josh on Yoshi's Island. And let's get a look at Kooks, because we haven't seen Kooky in a little bit. Also on Yoshi's Island. So there we go. Let's get that. And we've got Swim also on there, I believe. Got Swim. Oh, no, Dilly. Wow, coming in first. Let's go. Let's see what the queue looked like. Pretty solid, man. Coming in over Moral Atheist, Black Mamba, Brooks, Cree. Those are those are those are good wins, so to speak. Cree's been kind of killing it. Uh, meanwhile, Kugi big chilling, Yoshi's Island, doing his oh, thing. Wow, wave hard. Yeah, yeah, there right? you go. Finally, Kugi doing his thing, getting up front and with it. Looking looking poised already to continue his run here. This is what I'm saying, man. Like I said, like last week can be any indication, man. It doesn't matter how badly you do at the beginning. Sometimes other people might just start to do worse, and then you'll just start to do better later on. Like you never know. It's just like like any other game, any other competitive game you can play. You know, like sometimes you can have a bad start, and yeah, sometimes maybe you can't recover it. But you know, you're not gonna know that unless you try. So speaking of trying, you know, Kugi doing the thing. Uh, uh, next it, it's your it's your favorite it's it's your favorite race. Times oh, three, yeah. times <laughs> four technically. I... Oh man! We're all spectating it, so we get a nice little view here of mm. uh, Luke Ayano. Oh wait, we got two. Yeah, we got two Lukes. Might be, but either way, the Moral is still spectating, giving us another uh, another look. There we go. Yeah. No, I, I don't dislike this track that much. It's just grown to not be one of my favorites, it just because I think races can just like stagnate on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it it's just like it ain't great. Oh. And there's the green shell taking him out, uh, taking Luke Skywalker out from the side. Fun fact about those, I believe those actually have a greater chance of hitting you if they are bouncing off of a wall. I, I heard somewhere that they actually slightly home in on players if they're ricocheted off of a wall or something. I don't know if that's true or not, but it sounds like some, it, it sounds like some Mario Kart BS that probably. <laughs> could be. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely sounds like something that could, uh, definitely sounds like something that could be up there for sure and as i say you know it's just so so hard to catch up with anybody on this track look at look at ayanu he's i have yeah, never he's... seen somebody big chill 
harder in my life. It's like he's basically racing against CPUs when you get this far ahead. You just go on, you hold your item protection behind you, you do your tricks, this and that, and then in the one situation where something could have gone down for him, where he had a bomb bomb and a red shell was behind him, he just tossed it back at the right time to be able to negate it. This guy's a like beast. Luke Skywalker right there. He's in fourth now, and the only reason that is is because he got a bullet build. He had no choice. He had like no choice otherwise. No chance. Dude, Iano is such a tank, man. Uh, KGP holding his own, though, just fine. Uh, still coming in second. Meanwhile, Luke and Zodiac also in there. Techie finishing at nine. And I think now might be about that time where we could check in on some scores. But while I do that, here is currently what's going on. Uh, we still have Kugi on one of the deserts. And we have Dilly on... Is that Music Park? It is Music Park, yeah. So... Enjoy that for a moment. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find the scores. Man, Googie. Yeah. Kind of bopping. Dude, yeah, that, that's it. I think he might need that power up from Gons, and maybe that's why he's having a rough day. Yeah, that's honestly true. I forgot the Gons power up is broken. Kind of reminds me of, uh, what's his name, John Bratzenberger. Do you know who that is? Dude, what's a John Bratzenberger? Well, he's this... um. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I, if I don't have like the voice actor confused, he's the he was the voice actor of Ham in Toy Story, as well as like a bunch of other like Pixar okay. films and everything. Fun fact: that guy, he's in every single Pixar movie, every single one. Even if it's just like a very minor role or something, he's in every single one. And do you want to know why that is? Why? It's because Pixar believes he is their good luck charm. Dude, I believe that for sure. He, mm -hmm. he believe they believe that because like he's been in all their movies that he's their good luck charm. That's why their movies are successful. So regardless of how minor the role is, he's in literally every single one. So what's missing from this equation? The great Gonza Oh no! That's Speaking why of Kugi which, might be flopping occasionally. Oh god, now because we dude! Don't have he was in sitting in second place, ends up in fourth, getting hit by a couple shells. A very clear disappointment. Um, finishing behind Sea Rivers, Bryce, and Dark. And I'll tell you a little something about Sea Rivers. He's probably professional because he currently is in first place. Tack on another 15 points. Uh, Iano right behind him. Specifically three points. So 188, 185. Sitting in places one and two. Cree, another one of our regulars who uh, just consistently finishing uh, really well in these. I do believe he's consistent top eighter. And Moral Atheist, dude, put in that good work. Kunio at fifth, tied with Zodiac. Kugi still finding himself in top eight, along with Circa, despite a couple bad finishes, but hanging in there. Uh, Black Mamba, also technically eighth place. Also putting in that good work. I've seen him every week. And there we see KGP at 10. And I think KGP may have started a little late. Uh, but either way, we do have an, an Italiano. Uh, that's pretty hype. Yeah, looking pretty good. Look at Glenn sitting in 16th. It'd be like that. Where he belongs. Yep, and, th and there he is right there. Here on Kong, Kong Jungle, I believe. Congo Jungle. One or the other. You know, same-ish. <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day another another slight traditionalist when it comes to his cart choices not necessarily his bike choices in the rare instances he decides to use bikes but uh he's using the pipe frame which is um my, just about my personal favorite cart in the game added added in mario kart 7 i believe yeah which actually didn't have waluigi crazy that was like the one of the only mario kart games that didn't have him post double dash yeah post double dash yes mm-hmm yeah, because the earlier ones post just when he existed. Well, that's the funny thing is like he's, if as far as Mario universe goes, he's not a new character, but like he's of the newer characters. Really, only being Waluigi, you mean? Yeah, Waluigi. Yeah, he dropped in like 2000. He's officially 20. But years like, old. how many new Mario car or Mario characters have you really seen aside from like Rosa since? You haven't seen like a ton. I could be oh, wrong. You want to? You want to? You want to? What do you, who you got for me? You want me to ruin this? You want me to? You want to test my my Mario knowledge yeah, for man, you right I, here? Educate me. Tell me about all the other Mario car or all the other Mario players. All right, there was Rosalina. Characters. Can't forget. Oh, well, oh, Pauline's not new. Actually, that is a revived character. Actually, never mind. I was gonna say Pauline. <laughs> never mind. Uh, but from also from 2000, there was Petey Piranha, who was they were huge on. He was in pretty much every Mario sports game for a while. Uh, King Boo since 2000. That because that was 2001. He dropped in Luigi's Mansion. Uh, uh, 
God, Toadsworth in Mario Sunshine. All right. That yeah. Was him. Uh, There's not that many. I think I think in the in the scheme of Mario characters. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, shut up. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Also, uh, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Also, uh, it does look like Josh has moved has has moved past the Mario Kart, maybe having a bad day. But just want to give him a shout out. Make sure you guys go uh, give this guy a follow. He has been streaming every single week, and we definitely appreciate that. So, uh, obviously, we won't be able to share much anymore because he's not playing Mario Kart anymore. But uh, yeah, go ahead and check his stream out. Meanwhile, we are still cooking here. Uh, we do have what appears to be Crumble Volcano getting oh, started. I love this track. Do you? This track is stressful. That's what I love about it. It's like falling apart while you're racing on it. Chris, take a second. Like, this is something you could do a meditation on, right? I have the meditation thing I was going to do open. I think someone's going to record it, hopefully. So hopefully I'll be able to check it out later. But just, to, just if you can meditate on it, just imagine actually kart racing on, on a crumbling volcano. Can you can you think of a more stressful situation? There's, <laughs> you know, in your life? I mean, you're right. That's pretty intense, dude. I, I, I hadn't hype. really thought about it like that. You're absolutely right, though. There's so many ways that things can go wrong for you. Dude, the denizens the of the Mushroom Kingdom are the... freaking crazy. Yeah, these are like some... they, <laughs> that they do. They set this like up this. as an actual race. What a bunch of crazy ass. Or, yeah, what a bunch of crazy people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. There's psychopaths. The PG, to I'm be sorry. Doing this. There's this one. This is the one where they race on top of a tree. This is the one where they race out on a space station. What's another really terrifying track? Uh, Bowser's Castle, just alone. Oh, just dude, I think Castle. I think uh, what's it? Sky Palace is is the one. That one's pretty scary too when you really think about Sky it. Sky Palace. Or what's the uh, one where one? the Sky Cruise? What what's the one? Oh, Cloud Top Cruise. Thank you, Cloud Top Cruise. Yeah, that's pretty scary too when you really like break it down. Yeah. Think about that, dude. Right you're, down, really, you're riding on clouds and hopping over stuff. If you fall, you're dead. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, yeah, like really unpleasant death, too. I mean, I guess Lakita is there to get you, but... You ever just fall off the level in any video game? Whether it's like a platforming game, or if it's Final Fantasy, or if you're playing like a role-playing game, something like that, and you just get really upset because Lakitu doesn't come off the level to save you? Yeah, I wish he did. I wish he would. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, hey, that happened to me in Mario Kart. Oh, man. I, 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 why? I, no, morally, it does. No, no. I was watching him, and I was thinking, I was like, oh, dude, he's going to do He's going to do it. does get passed by both Dilly and Mr. M at the end there, and press dude. an F for himself there. Pretty frustrated. Circa coming in first. Kunio second. There's there's our man, Kunio. And yeah, morally, it's a little bit robbed. Sorry, man. You hate to yeah, see it. Yeah, 169 points. Dude, morally, is having a really good day. Nice. He was in the top eight. I think he was in that nice. He was in the top five, so. Yeah, he's definitely, with the way he's playing, I think he's probably going to top eight tonight. He's still got plenty of time. It would seem that way. To that. Kugi is making a little bit of a surge again. Kree remaining exactly where he should be, and Ayano just continuing to mount the coins up, or the points up, however you want to say. But either way, he's, he's having a nice day. We'll, we'll, we'll he's that placing. Way. He is placing. For sure. Fun fact about Glenn, I sold him a Switch recently, and he he um, he um said if I didn't make top eight, he was going to dock $50. Oh. And then I made top eight, so he owed me $50 more. <laughs> no way. Yeah. No, no, true facts. True facts, bro. Damn. It's, it's not it's not true. We said it, but we, we didn't actually do that. Oh, well, that was nice. I always have a hard time holding people to the bets, too. <laughs> no, he was, he was just mad. Man. Yeah, that, that Glenn is, is a memer, and that Glenn is kind of a hero with these Mario Kart tournaments. These have, have definitely been a lot of fun. Oh, hell yeah, dude. This is giving me something to look forward to so much every week. That's why I love to stream it. I, think, I feel like it's the least I could do to, like, keep these tournaments going while we get through these times together, you know? Because, like, you know, imagine people just go through different things, and these just gave me something so much to look forward to. You know, not everybody, not everybody's got a job right now. Not everybody has school right now. Some people have neither of those things. You know, some people are quarantined with people they might not want to be quarantined with. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, and people. some people just got it worse. Some people got it better than others. And these things just give a lot of people something to look forward to every week as well. And they're just such a wonderful thing. Like, honestly, I've told Glenn multiple times that I don't think he really understands the magnitude of what he did for some people. Like, yeah, to some people, it's probably just like meh. But to some people, these tournaments are just something so, so fun to look forward to every week, man. And I'm just so happy that I get to be a part of them as well. So... 
I, I'm really grateful for that person. No, it's cool, man. And the thing is, like, I actually uh, I don't have DNA stream as far as consistent things go, so it's helped me with that. And also, it's gotten me a nice little gateway to start doing some other stuff. So yeah, keep it the master hand. I, I do have to fix a Discord server. I'm very well aware of it. It's mostly fixed. I just have to like really tighten it up and then it's gonna be a totally different thing a lot more based off of like community building type stuff uh, getting more games not just Mario Kart not just smash uh, a lot of other stuff going on I do owe everybody a Minecraft server which should exist probably sometime this week I think hopefully if things go well yeah, and on top of that, I mean, we're keeping it a little bit on the down low right now, but me and Chris are thinking about, about starting it. to uh, stream another game. Yes, gonna, sir. Yeah, no, you can is. definitely. We're, we're trying to... That is yet? Yeah, well, I, I would like to. We just have to figure out the logistics, so be That's on the lookout for Mario saying. Maker. Uh, I don't mind saying it because I'm pretty excited <laughs> oh, about wow. it. Um, <laughs> Never mind, my man just went in and did it. You're not like me at all. I'm, I'm secretive. Ah, uh, no, man. I, I don't really mind. I don't mind saying the ideas. And if they don't work out, we'll talk about them mm -hmm. then. But in either case, that is definitely something I'm very interested in. And shout out to Moral Atheist, dude. Another second place. Let's go. Only behind Fimble Vetter, uh, <laughs> which, which is which is an Italian player, which is pretty hype. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, got Metal Mario on the top left. Woo! Um, so, oh, that's oh no no that's now it, it's else. it's it's Luke, but uh, he's just he's spectating, spectating at the moment, waiting yeah. for his next race. But uh, we do have Ayano and Kugi, so I'll probably will hone in on them because uh, that's a that's a hype duo to have. And they've been in the same queue like all day, man. Talk about like a real test of of like I, I don't know, just like as far as like Mario Kart competition goes, man. Like these are what I would call like top players, uh, so to speak. Dude, the game is seeding for us. It's true. It's literally seeding for us, dude. That's pretty hype. Yeah, I don't know. And I, here you go. How, how does it Man. not? Bopping so hard. Fourth for Kugi too, man. Oh my! And look at him. Look at look at that man. Look at him put his hands to his yeah, mouth. Yeah, he's. I feel bad. I always hate to see when Kugi isn't like totally popping off, just because like it makes me sad. But I don't know though. I don't know you yet, but I'm pretty hyped for you because you've been killing it all day, and that that makes me excited that you are chilling in these streams. So, meanwhile, uh, more Metal Mario and a a non-metal moral atheist who is really the main focus. So here we go. We'll see what Amen. he's got here. Just getting started on Music Park, a very very fan favorite kind of stage. Hey man, one of the best stages you, in the game. You've, you've seen me. You've seen what I look like when I play this game. Yeah, man. Oh, so sometimes people people sometimes be flailing. Yeah, it's true. Music Park, one of my favorites for sure. Everybody, everybody loves this track, man. They, they just the theme, the music, the track itself, the fact that the piano comes into the actual track once you're racing on it specifically. That's just it's 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 the finer things in life. It's the little details like that that really. That really brings somebody in for the immersion and just just wallop you right in the kidney. Yeah, right in the kidney. Yeah, right in the kidney. <gasps> oh, that was such a sick drift by Moral Atheist. He actually got the guy right behind him with that banana while he was holding it out. I think he actually did that on purpose. Dude, I I he I, he definitely did, dude. He's been grinding. He's like really good. Like he's he's just as competitive as anyone at this point. Uh, meanwhile, we do have. Uh, Race just stopped, uh, just starting in the top left. Uh, that is Luke on Sun or in Shun Sunshine Airport, I guess is what I should say. I was gonna say on <laughs> in Shun Airport, yeah, uh, der mm -hmm. Sun uh, Sunshine Airport, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Moral and Ayano still duking it out. Um, we'll see which one, yeah, on Baby Park, nonetheless. Okay, so this is always interesting. Uh, seeing someone who's still dominant do well on Baby Park is like a true test you know what i mean like it's a true test for your ability to really like be good enough to, to make up for all the cheese that happens here because this stage is it's, it's a cluster total cluster oh yeah you can see what he's doing right here you see uh see on you uh he's actually just drifting and jumping over the grass in the middle of the drift while he gets around it he had a mushroom in hand which most other players in these races would just use immediately to get over that thing to use as a shortcut but he held on to it later to, to when he needed it you know god forbid he got hit by lightning or whatever but he knew that he could just drift around that because his character is just so fast 
that he could jump around that. He's at 245. He's like almost, I, I don't know if you saw that. He's like damn near like 70 points above Kugi. Yeah, he's, dude, he's having a day. Like, and the thing is, like, I don't think, I think this is probably his normal because it sounds like he just plays uh, this game on, on, on a level that most people don't. Yeah, man, nothing will humble a bunch of smashers like playing another game and then immediately getting wiped. Yeah, man, by someone who's been grinding this stuff, so. Oh, yeah. Here comes Luke to save the day. Using his star to sneak up, uh, placing just a little bit fifth. He can see most of the racers in front of him, though, which is really good, especially considering the fact he's going to grab another item right here. What's he going to get? I can't tell because his webcam placing is very big, <laughs> right and the item is uh, not in our viewpoint right now. I can't even judge him for that because my webcam used to be right in front of the uh, placement thing. It used to be at the bottom right. So I didn't I didn't realize for the longest time that when you play Mario Kart, there's nothing in the HUD on the top right. So that's where my webcam is now for this game. But Luke Skywalker hasn't realized that quite yet. Look at him. You can see the brain pulsating out. You can see the veins on his forehead pulsating out with this webcam Huge. placement. Huge. And it's brains. just so thick. I'm not Huge I'm not gonna lie. I love throbbing this guy, brains. I, I commented dude. with him at a uh, forget which Smash tournament it was. It might have been a fusion or a DNA, I don't remember. But either way, he's gonna finish in fifth place right there. Respectable. Uh placing behind Sea Rivers, playing EO and Liam. Those are all very respectable players to place behind in this game. Dude, Sea sure. C, C Rivers legit might uh break three hundred today. I think he's I think he's already on track or on pace. Mm. There's there's no way to to say that that isn't like a pun, but um that, that's what's going on, so Either way, uh, we've got Dilly in the top left. Uh, Moral is waiting in queue, so I'll see if uh, someone else is racing. But in the meanwhile, this is what we're up against. So Kugi and Ayano fighting it out, uh, kind of neck and neck at the moment, first and second. So we'll see what results in that. Meanwhile, let me see what else I can get you alongside of Dilly before Moral starts, because uh, remember we did we did we did drop a racer, but that's okay. Sometimes it's just like that, man. Sometimes you're just like, all right, I'm, I'm done. I'm over this game. Yeah. Hyrule Circuit, both of these guys neck and neck. Kugi and Ayanu once again. Ayanu up in first and Kugi in second. That's how it's been for the majority of the night. But he's got three red shells behind him, plus a blue one to come finish him off. That blue one, actually, he might be able to use the recovery invincibility frames of the blue shell to uh, negate the hit of those red shells, but not if Kugi times them right, and it doesn't even matter because he throws the bomb behind him to finish it oh, off. Oh, no, Only getting dude. hit by that last red shell right, right there. He right on his tail. just happened to have one more. Ayanu did literally everything possible to recover out of that situation. <laughs> dude. In a situation in which he should have dropped, like, three places, but he didn't. Yeah, that, that one hurts, man. And you could tell Kugi was that was that was looking like a rage quit for a moment. Because going down behind Kree and Dark, two players that are actually in the top eight uh, as well. So those are not the people you want to lose to. That just continues to push you a little further and lets other people a little bit of room. But it happens, man. Um, it definitely happens. And actually, I think I saw Kugi mentioning that he was... Um, I think he entered like another Mario Kart event that wasn't a Glen one, so he is starting to branch out a little bit. Getting that experience in. That's hype. That is actually pretty hype. I agree. He got straight outplayed, man. It, it, there's nothing else to say about that. Like, he, he had all those red shells, he had all the items, and he just got hit with the counterplay. There's nothing else to say about it. I, I could, you know, pretend to be a better commentator and just go into the logistics of that, but I don't need to explain it. You know why? He just threw the right stuff at the right time. He had a bomb behind him and he threw it back, which is very underutilized tech. Not every player knows that you can use a bomb to actually deflect items. You just can't hold it behind you, otherwise it'll explode. You just have to time it right when you throw it behind you when the item actually hits you, and then you'll actually be able to stop a, a shell or whatever from stopping you from behind, and that's what we saw Ayanu do before, but regardless, we're on Moomoo Moo Meadows now, Moral Atheist, rocking that Piranha Plant right there, sitting here in fifth, and he's gonna finish at a sixth, and none, none too good right there, but it should add about seven more points to his uh, final score here. Still looking well above, he's on, but we'll find out soon. Well above the others point-wise, at least from what I could see right there. Um, so, you know, still, still some silver lining to look at. Meanwhile, though, Kugi and Ayano going at it once again. These guys not able to avoid each other tonight. Um, Kugi really getting that firsthand experience at, at playing, I guess, like the, 
like actual top players. You know what I mean? It's like it's like when you dominate your local scene and then all of a sudden you go to like your first major and you just kind of get molly whopped. But... Yeah, it's like when you're top five in Wisconsin and then some random Mario flies out to the water park tournament and beats you. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a lot like that. So uh, Kuki got a little bit of that, but still holding his own just fine, dude. I, you know, the more this happens and the and the tougher the races are, you only get better because uh, that, that's kind of been the, the case for him. So, um, yeah, keep on. Keep on coming on. Yeah, keep on keeping on. All right, and Kugi looking very poised to be able to continue doing well in this one. He'll get that protection behind him from Ayanu, but it's not going to matter because he's got another red shell coming his way, I think, unless that was just stream lag. Yeah, that was just stream lag. He only had the one red shell, and I was just looking at it from before, but the blue shell is going to stop him here. Will he pass? Looking like uh, looking like Dilly's actually a little bit behind him, unless that's Ayanu. And yeah, that, the... oh, that is Ayanu. That, that's that's my bad. I meant to switch okay. that over. Yeah. So now Dilly. The only reason I asked is because Dilly's been changing characters. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, Dilly hasn't changed any characters, but uh, no, uh, Ayanu has been doing the whole Roy on on the Scooty. <laughs> the Roy on the Scooty. Booty. Well, he has been changing uh, his his bikes a little bit, but for the most part, same build. But what anyway. would you do if like some big tough looking dude in like sunglasses just came just started riding up to you at whatever venue you were at and then just drops off that like that's the motorcycle he pulls up to you and it's just like hey, yo, does he you touch got a problem with the scooty booty does he touch my girl's ass after but all right dude Ayano. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he already did <laughs> probably already did uh, that was basically a head-to-head -head. Ayano and Kugi. Kugi getting the first-hand experience uh, there, so uh, kept it pretty close, honestly. Uh, really close, considering the circumstances, but meanwhile, uh, we do have a couple more racers, and that is... Might be seeing the humble tweet later. Yeah, this, this, this is Dilly and Moral. Uh, two different races, but still going at it, and let me see if I can get Luke, because it's been a little while since I got to check in on him. Nope, that is Dilly there. with the bullet bill in oh, fifth God. place. There we go. That is fifth place that he just snuck that bullet bill into the mix. That's the thing with Yoshi Valley. Uh, you ever play? You ever play Yoshi Valley in Mario Kart 64? Uh, yes. Yeah, you, I don't know if you remember, but it's the only. You probably do, but it's like the only track in the game where you can't tell what the placings are. Like they'll show like the top four placing at like the right or the left or wherever it was on the HUD in Mario Kart 64. Right. And instead, there are only a bunch of question marks there because they wanted it to deliberately be confusing on Yoshi Valley because the course has so many. I mean, you can look at the map; it's got so many weird intertwines and different like directions and ways you can go in that you're gonna wind up like falling behind and passing a bunch of different opponents that you couldn't even tell because this just this course. Of particular just has like a million different routes yeah no you're right about that and, uh, yeah and so in this game that affects the item management chris because mm -hmm. he got that bullet bill when he was in like fifth place but there could have been other people who were just like about to be closer but you just couldn't tell because it's yoshi valley and like the twines are all mixed up either that or the item or the item distribution in this game is just that bad and I'm overthinking it right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's sometimes kind of bad. I'm not going to lie to you there. But uh, speaking of bad, Moral Atheist come in with a bad placing. But no problem. Uh, I still think sitting... <laughs> I didn't have a good segue. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was bad no, place. It was a good segue. It was just an insulting one. I didn't, dude. I more like this has been so solid, and that was a tough cue, dude. He was in with like it Glenn was, and with like one. KGP, one. who's who's really good now. Chris, I'm just busting your balls. I would have said the exact same thing. Moral atheist. I would have said the exact same thing. I'm like, speaking of bad, here's Moral atheist placing like uh, 13th, which is really bad because it's not even possible in Mario Kart, but he somehow found a way. Yeah, dude. Uh, and I'm not sure what race we're on. Uh, Dilly also having his current points available at, at 162. And that's a really good idea. If you guys are streaming your stuff, do that. <laughs> it's a really it's a really good idea. It helps a lot. Um, but either way, let's see what's going on this last lap between Kugi and uh, Ayano. Kugi and Ayanu. Ayanu sitting at third. This time, Kugi at the front running placement right here on the final lap. Oh, but he doesn't get to use his, uh, doesn't get to use, what do they, what do they call the, the, the last part? Is it like parachutes? The, the gliders. The gliders, the gliders yeah. The gl the oh, yeah, of the cart. He gets sure. He gets lightning right beforehand, but it's not. <gasps> Kugi, no. Oh, no, that, that was big brained. Never mind. He actually didn't get blue shelled because of it. 
Yeah, I do oh, wonder sometimes about the item distribution in the last lap specifically. It does feel like it gets extra messy compared to the first and second lap. And I don't know if it's just because of stress of the third lap or if it's like the game does something different. But yeah, Kugi coming in second, Ayano first. That was a really tough finish there. But he's right there, man. He is right I by Ayano. And I think that's something to like... I'd be pretty happy about. Meanwhile, Black Mamba doing pretty well too, dude. Is sitting at 210 points. Nothing to, nothing to scoff at, really. Uh, dude, if if he intentionally went off the course to not get hit by that blue shell, so he could like just wake up with the uh, intangibility frames from Lakitu, then his brain is as thick as my Netflix queue. That was the craziest play. If he did that on purpose, I don't think he did. But if he did, that's that's just nutty. Yeah, and yeah, my Netflix queue pretty thick. What about it? <laughs> what, some what say about it's a, it? some say it's a good size. It's all. You ever uh, hear like you ever hear that as like a cheesy pickup line? Like, hey girl, my Netflix queue about as thick as you. What do you say? You I mean, how, how, how thick somebody? how thick is you though? For real, you know? Well, well it know. depends. <laughs> depends. <laughs> So uh, do you do you play Rory in Mario Kart? Yeah, you do, you, you do like, be kind of thick, but uh, oh, he's, he's thick as fuck. Yeah, he is. He's is quite thick, but uh, so yeah. So here's Sky Top Cruise, which is that race we're talking about before, and this race is definitely not Cloud Top Cruise. Cloud Top, oh damn it! God. Listen, I'm an amateur Mario Kart. Uh, Such a fake Mario fan. A commentator. I was playing through the game oh, today, yeah, it's actually. Just called Cloud Top Cruise. Oh my god, I'm gone. So I, I buy everything for too much money. Oh. That's not true. Yeah, sure. He's, he's a bargain guy. Oh man, uh, Dilly yeah, not able to escape that red guy. shell. That red shell had it out for him, dude. It was like hawking him. Um, but it does look like the Kugi Ayano Ooh. show does continue. Also on Cl uh, Cloud Top Cruise, I got it right that time. And it does look like they have a couple more people in there. and. We'll see what that does to the race because it is still only lap one. But they're about That's to get on lap two right now. So actually, Kugi is already, depending on whose stream you're watching. Yeah, and you got Dilly over on the top left. I think this is probably the same race. He's sitting. No, he's no, sitting this is a. Uh, he's he's on his last lap. They're on the same map, but oh, he's he's, in, he's indifferent. Yeah, never mind. Thank you for pointing that out. You might not be able to get names right, but at least you can tell what's going on, which is probably a better quality. It's, it's easy when you're the one hitting the buttons, but uh, yeah, Dilly Diamond, sixth place. Uh, Zodiac coming in with a big first place. Uh, Head of Cree, who is, uh, does have the point advantage slightly, so that's going to be a good finish for him. Jeez. Uh, meanwhile, Cheese. Oh, he's able to. Oh, he doesn't get his protection out in time. It doesn't matter though. Oh, no, it does because Kumi's actually going to be able to sneak that lead in. Oh, this is neck and neck. Oh my god. Yeah, this is about as close as it comes, and this is the final lap, so we'll see what happens here. Both uh, players currently tiny, hit by the lightning, so. Um, mm. Kugi should come Both back. going to get hit by the communism real quick. Yeah, Kugi does get the little bit of advantage for anyone who doesn't know how lightning works, although I'm assuming everyone who's watching this does. Uh, depending on your placing is how quickly you come back from being short. If you're further back, you get your full size back quicker. So Kugi did get that little bit of momentary advantage and does continue to be right on the heels of Ayano. Uh, meanwhile, Ayano is going to go for that shortcut because he's got a Kugi right on the tail. Expertly played, just not enough space to really get past first. And Kugi, I can't, I can't tell because I'm not actually on his stream. Part of me feels a slight tilt, but either way, like he's racing well enough now. Uh, we did see a couple bad placings earlier on, but has since kind of cleaned it up. Uh, getting second, trying to see who third place is. It is Skinarsic, Skinarsic, and Black Mamba hanging right in there with the 219 points. And I'm due for a point update, so I'm going to do that as soon as I get the uh, next couple races on the screen. Cause Ayanu did officially break 300. There we go. So I'm not going to see what we saw last week where we didn't have a 300 breaker. And I'm not at all surprised because I don't think I've seen him get anything worse than second place. And I've mostly seen him get first. So Yeah, pretty much every time we've seen him fall to second, it's been a Kugi. Up ahead of Dilly Diamond right here, we have in a yellow flash actually who makes occasional appearances wait a turn. second Not which one is week. in a yellow flash does it say does it say flash i, I was yeah lying. that was him oh, so yellow so, flash yo let's go flash and i do see people looking to see if it's too late to enter technically no 
Uh, you won't finish your races, but you, you do get to stunt on some people, which is still pretty fun. You could definitely could uh, possibly alter up the placings depending on who you beat and don't beat. So definitely not too late to join, but you probably won't finish all 24 races. Uh, but if you do want to join, yeah, hit that code in the top right. Meanwhile, uh, Moral Atheist continuing what's been a pretty pretty good, I would say, pretty great performance today, except for getting hit by pretty much everything but the kitchen sink just now. Uh, Dilly yeah. also not doing too poorly. Fourth place behind Glenn Cuneo and Cree. Not a bad group of people to be in with, but we'll see what Moral can do. He does have a star in his hands and is really close to the end of the race. Going to be able to chop off a little bit of the race there. The corners does get past one, and that looks like it's all he's going to get. So sixth place, shaking his head, not all too happy with that, but sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, Bryce yeah. coming in with a first with baby Luigi. Character we don't see very often because he's a baby. Yeah, don't be fooled by Bryce's points. 225, it, yeah, whatever in comparison to freaking Ayanu is not that good, but like... Or not as good, but like Kugi, uh, not Kugi, uh, Moral Atheist, definitely. I would be very surprised to see him not in this top eight. I think he will, and I'll, and I'll go ahead and check in on those point totals after this race finishes. But for now, uh, I'm going to keep the attention here because this has been most of the excitement we've gotten all day uh, between Kugi and Ayanu. Watching Kugi kind of slowly keep in with it. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. in these queues has been Black Mamba, who has also been doing pretty well. Not quite as seasoned yet. Uh, between Kugi, yeah, that, that that's the move with, if you're Ayanu. Just wait up and see if you catch someone else in the blast radius of the blue shell. But Kugi was on to that because he was zoomed right past. Good timing and everything. So we'll see what he could yeah. do with the lead. That and play was perfect here for these guys who are racing on my favorite, or one of my favorite tracks personally, Mount Wario. And it's looking like they're going <laughs> neck up. and neck right here. <laughs> Uh, Looking like they're going neck and neck right here on my favorite track. But now it's Ayanu, who's the one who's actually back in second place right now. And this is the last lap. It's, no, Kugi's not going to yeah, be able to finish it out. Uh, that's oh, that's pretty brutal, fighting. man. That's yeah. I don't know what happened. That's some pro strats, though. Kugi kind of like, ah, yeah, you got it, bro. Kind of like disappointed and also like this guy's clearly very good. So, yeah, and Shannon poking into the results here at 153 points. Fulu Kaska holding it down. Black Mamba in fifth. So, uh, so you know... Some stuff going on, and let's see. I believe we have Dilly racing at the moment, so I will show that, and then we'll check, take a look at these points as I get them ready. All right, down on the Piranha Plant slide. Formerly one of my least favorite tracks, at least in the 3DS version of the game. Looking pretty here yeah, in fourth place, but not popping his mushroom before the lightning comes out. That is just an unfortunate thing that comes out, man. You got to understand your items... If you're in like some of the higher placings, they're never safe. You never know when that lightning is going to come out and just boop, come out there. Yeah, there's no warning. Sometimes you try to hold on to items and it's of no worth. But uh, yeah, I am yeah. way above the, the 300 point mark, by the way. I'm not the only person to surpass 300 points. So as I flash off of here real quick, look at the scores. I know at 320, first place, pretty dominant. Sea River is also having what I would call a dominant day at 309, just not quite as much. Uh, Kree holding it strong for the regulars. Kuki right behind, despite some bad finishes. Uh, Kunio, Zodiac, Black Mamba, Moral Atheist, all in your top eight. KGP knocking on the door, not too far off from Moral Atheist. Uh, in addition to Dark, and we got uh, Bryce may have started a little late, so we'll see. Where he's definitely a threat to break in the top eight, especially as it looks now. Glenn looking like he may have fallen a little bit far behind because he probably started on time. But yeah, that's going to be the top 20 at the moment. Uh, so with that in mind, Dilly getting that fifth place placing. Let's see who's ahead of him. Uh, Glenn needed those points. Kunio, Zodiac, Kree. Uh, that's just going to make things even more muddy in the middle outside of one and two. And yeah, clo closing out Mario Kart. It's that, it's that time of night. Uh, <laughs> then needs to insert his game. That might actually, was that all the races? I, it, for him, maybe. I don't know. It's possible it may have been the, the Either races. Either that or he just, you know, got really, really Well, I'm just mad. looking at the point totals. 320, what's the maximum amount of points possible? I was just going to ask you that, actually. So well, what's it, 15 times 24 races? races? 15, 15 times 24. I'm going to whip out my handy-dandy calculator. Yeah, Dilly is done, by the way. So, so right, we are nearing the end. So. That is 360. Yeah, so, yeah, 15 times 24. 
Yeah, so that is 360. That is so course. I'm assuming that may be it. Um, I think, I know Dilly confirmed that he is done. And I'm just trying to make sure I'm not. Moral Atheist does appear to be done. I think Kugi is. So yeah, I think that's it, man. I think I think we're all done. Wow. Yeah, that, that went quick. That was actually pretty fun to watch, man. Ayano is a total beast, and so is Sea Rivers. I think that Sea yeah. Rivers do uh, as much of his thing because he's not streaming, but that's okay. Uh, I got to see him in the results pretty much every race. So, um, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed that or think this looks fun, this goes on every single Sunday. Uh, same time, same place. 24 races. Starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. Ends around 9 is how long you have to get your races in if you start on time. Takes about an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes. Um, but meanwhile, if you're looking for something a little bit different, but also kind of the same, we do have team races every single Tuesday. So also same time, 7 to 9 Eastern. Um, okay, so confirmed Sea Rivers is still racing, by the way. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to watch. Um, at least not at the moment. But yeah, so we do have these every single Tuesday. So we got two Mario Kart events, and then always, as always, we have Smash every single Thursday, and this is now open to everybody. So feel free to enter these tournaments. They've been a lot of fun. Um, and there is a monthly coming up, which does have a messed up URL. Yeah, I, I don't have the right slide, but you guys will hear more about that moving forward. Um, but in the meanwhile, let me just confirm that we're all, all out here, and it does look like that, because I just see Kugi kind of punching around and the menus so that's it yeah, i want to thank you guys like his standings. yeah i want to thank everyone for joining us and okay sea rivers is finished you know what just 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 because let's uh i'm gonna close out mario kart one more time i'm gonna open it up so that way i get kind of the full view because sea river is kind of a beast so this will be the last thing we do and then and then i'm signing off for the night and we'll see you on tuesday again for teams but uh, big shout outs again to everyone who has been streaming these. Uh, today was Swim Josh for a bit, Moral Atheist, Kugi Coogs, Dilly. Um, who else do we have today? Um, I'm, 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 I'm on G's. I'm drawing a, a big fat brain fart because I'm doing too many things. But, anyways, thanks to everyone who is streaming because without that, these literally would not be possible. So, let's take one last look at the standings now that top two are, are presumably done. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that was close. Oh my God, Sea Rivers, dude! Oh, oh, I'm glad I did that. Dude, I'm so I had glad. A brain fart. Yo, I what had a beast! Brain fart, dude. I didn't put two and two together for a second. Sea Rivers. Oh Yo, my let's God. go. Wow, close at the end there. Sea Rivers edging it out with 324. Iano 320. You're very clear one and two. Uh, your obvious pros. Meanwhile, Cree coming in third. Kunio fourth, taking it for the regulars. Kugi sitting at fifth. Um, with yeah, even. Fifth place, despite uh, I think we saw like two last place finishes or, or a, a 11th and 12th. Dude, that's that's honestly that is that's pretty freaking pog, dude. That's that, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, Black Mamba, atheist, dude. Look at you go, man. Top eight. Let's get it. Uh, KGP just cracking in, getting threatened by Bryce though. Could be passed. I don't know how much more Bryce has got. Uh, Moral atheist just outside uh, with Circa, Dark, and Glenn. So yeah, man. Shout out to everyone. That was a lot of fun tonight. I appreciate the games. Wow. Uh, yeah, we will definitely. tournament, man. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, and also, thank you for the follow, Violet EE. Appreciate you. But yeah, so that's going to be it. Um, again, this was the Glintendo circuit. I will give you one last glorious look. Oh, wait, hold on. I got, mi I got mixed. All right, there we go. One last glorious look at this graphic. Here it is. Everything you need to know. Otherwise, Nintunis, thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks for the casting. I know you didn't. Race today, and I know you had stuff to do that didn't do because you wanted to help me out, so I appreciate that too. I realized that the Zoom meeting that the thing was going to be in, I because I told myself, okay, like whatever, I'll do this tonight and then I'll do the team circuit on whatchamacallit on Tuesday. But then I I also really didn't want you to cast by yourself. I wanted you know the stream to have oh, thanks, the best quality possible. Not that you couldn't, no, do no, that, no, no. This, this made that, it way, like, this, this makes it way better, trust me, exactly, yeah, exactly. Way I wanted to do that, then I realized. This might be recorded, actually. The Zoom meeting might be recorded, and I'll be able to listen to it. Plus, I'm taking a class with this guy that's going to last, like, five weeks. 
coming up pretty soon in two weeks anyway. So I'll just be able to ask him about it anyway. I actually kind of forgot about that. So that's all good. I have the opportunity to do that on, uh, to do the team circuit on Tuesday anyway. Let's it go. was my pleasure. No, honestly, it was my pleasure yeah, to be able man. to do that. I've wanted to actually commentate one of these for a while too, but I also love to play in them. So no, it's, it's like. No, I get it. It's yeah, hard it's to do much. both, but you're a good fit on either end. Either way, I appreciate it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for, for the Mario Maker tournaments. Hopefully that'll happen soon. But yeah, finally, we are signing out. Thank you again, Nintunist. Uh, I'm Chris Lodian, and we will catch you on Tuesday. Ah!